Yes, I am. All righty. Welcome everybody to the, what is it, fifth? Fifth second? Fifth. Yeah. Fifth. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Got a packed house tonight. Um, <laughs> what's going on? Uh, what is Sec IC? I think everyone here has already seen this. So um, we're City Sec, we're a nonprofit, and um, yeah, we're cool. <laughs> Disclaimer We exist as an educational entity. We do not condone any illegal activity. Um, code, of con co code of conduct don't be an ass. Uh, we determine what constitutes being an ass. Just be nice, be cool. All right, housekeeping. Um, up here, we've got we've got talks, presentations. In the back, all the way in the back, we've got pizza. Around the corner, we've got refreshments. Um, alcohol only if you're 21 and over. Um, reminder: clean up after yourselves. Um, I know we got we got paper plates and stuff, so you know, dispose of dispose of your trash. Pick up your cans. Help us keep this place clean so we can keep using it. Um, bathrooms are over here. You can go around the corner. You can go out the store. It's kind of a trip hazard up here, so I'd go around the corner. And uh, any first timers. All right, well, you can come get a sticker. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're not a first timer, you can come get a sticker too. All right, sponsors. Uh, Merge is sponsoring our location. And we had an anonymous sponsor this month. Um, as I put there, not the failed religious terrorist mask wearing Time Warner supporting group. Just a person. <laughs> um, and sponsorship opportunities are available. Hit us up at contact at secic.org. Tonight's agenda, 101, we're doing it. Um, news is next. First talk is Brandon Blankenship. He's doing State of the Passwords. And I've forgotten end quote there. Uh, and then next, Paul is doing Learning to Burp. And then lastly, we're going to do a walkthrough of the CTF. Some, some. That was last weekend. What's that? Some of. Some of. Some of the, 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 some of the ones we saw. So next month, uh, nobody's giving a talk yet. I think we had some people talking about it, some people that were uh, interested. So. Um, we've got a link on the website to, to go ahead and click if you want to give a talk. It um, doesn't have to be groundbreaking. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, uh, a zero day. Uh, just anything cool that you think people want to want to hear about. Um, I heard Adam might be giving a talk on Arduino hacking. Now that I said it, it's true. <laughs> okay, uh, get a hold of us. Website, secic.org. That'll kind of get you everywhere else. Um, email, anything, really anything at secic.org gets somewhere. Um, our Twitter handle is at sec underscore IC, and we have a bit.ly link to our YouTube until we get, uh, I think, like 19 more subscribers, so make some accounts to subscribe tonight. Slack. Um, yesterday when I made this, we had 68 people, so uh, best way to get a hold of us, go to our website, secic.org. There's a Slack button. Click it. It'll take you to the sign up. Um, you know, fill out a form, then you get a link in your email. And that's just a picture of what Slack looks like. So hit the channels, check out the channels. Um, most relevant channel we've got going on right now is if you're going to go to ThoughtCon, which is in less than two weeks at the location that is yet to be determined because they want us to pay really high hotel prices. Um, we've got a shared channel for coordinating that. <laughs> so upcoming meetings. Uh, next month is, or actually this month, is SecDSM. Uh, that's in two days. That's in Des Moines. Uh, and then next month is SEC Midwest. That's the second Tuesday of the month, which is real early next month. And then uh, we're third Tuesday, which is the 15th. Upcoming cons. The next one is ThoughtCon. That's the weekend after next. That one's in Chicago. Um, I don't know if it's sold out. Yeah, it is. It is? Okay. Um, so if it's sold out, are, there still, um, are they still looking for volunteers? No. Okay. No volunteers. All right. So if it's if you don't have a ticket, you're not going. But if you're if you do have a ticket, I know we're bringing like a horde of people from Des Moines and, and from here. So um, again, go to the Slack, get in that channel, and um, we're gonna figure out a way to get there. I, I, we got to get a bus or something. Yeah. We have enough people. It's to make it. it's yeah. about Burcon too. Burcon. Yeah, I don't know how many people are going to Burcon. That one's in June. It's free too. Oh, oh they put these in the wrong order, right? It's, is it? Yeah, it's free. It's free. Yeah, and they're running low on tickets. So if you okay. are planning to go, yeah, do it ASAP. I know at least the three of us are going. I've heard some 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 people from Sec DSM are talking about going. Uh, we're spending the night. Some people are making a day trip of it because it's one day. It's Friday, and then uh, Circle City Con. That one's awesome. That one's our favorite. So I shouldn't say that. 
Um, the unofficial Bay Area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that one's in Indianapolis. So all of these are within driving distance. They're pretty awesome. And up next, financial transparency. All right, so we'll take a quick look at the funds and whatnot between uh, last month and this month. So the previous balance last month was $1,221. Uh, the expenses, this was for last month, is that runs us about 160 bucks a month. Uh, income, uh, we got $50 in donations. Uh, so uh, there should be an asterisk right here. This is what the current balance is today. Uh, I didn't update it uh, with the, uh, the sponsor, the anonymous sponsor, since I had it posted. So just look for that uh, next month. But uh, so right now, well, I guess uh, we did pay for soda and uh, soda, beer and pizza and whatnot. But yeah, as of about two o'clock this afternoon, we're that. So next month, I will uh, once that transaction posts, I'll get that on there. So sitting pretty good right now. Uh, we don't have any plain <coughs> purchases, I don't think, for now. So maybe a dolly. <laughs> yeah, dolly to help bring stuff in. But yeah, if you guys uh, wanna uh, donate or uh, we have an address for sale for five dollars. Um, you can definitely come talk to one of us three, and we'll, we'll gladly, uh, you know, sell you a patch or take your money. Um, <laughs> other than that, I think the next thing is the news. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so first up in the news, the uh, the hacking scandal of the casino. Did you guys see this one? So fun part about this one. This is the exact same one that happened last year. Somebody just tweeted again, and it took off. And now it's a brand new hack. It's literally the exact same hack from last year. So the real story here is, you know, pay attention to what you're reading. It's an old story anyway. Um, IoT is really uh, crap, PG-13. We know that, you know. Segregate your networks. Um, let's see. Police unlocking cell phones with dead people's fingers. Uh, it's come to light now that both the FBI and local law enforcement have used this tactic to mixed degrees of success, but they're actually using deceased folks' fingerprints to get into phones. Uh, two for one on this one. Oh, actually, real quick. So the first caption here, not only are they doing it, it's technically legal, because once you die, you have no right to your privacy anymore because you're dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's cool. I mean, it's fine, right? <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Uh, but the two for one, uh, continuing with cell phones and fingers, uh, police and uh, British police managed to snag a drug dealer. I believe he was peddling pot, well, large amounts of pot, obviously, if they're tracking after him. Um, they managed to catch him from a stolen cell phone that had a picture of his hand on it. The fidelity of the camera, the definition was so high that they could zoom in, see the lanes and grooves, and then match it to fingerprints that they had on site. Wow. Yeah, ridiculous. So change your fingerprints often. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Remember to rotate, rotate them every 90 days yeah. or so. Don't rename bridges. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another good one that's been going on uh, is Russian router hacking. So Russian sponsors, they, they're saying that it's Russian-backed, you know, attribution. Um, attacks range, private Soho stuff, uh, government stuff, and infrastructure. So it's really the whole stretch of stuff. And they're kind of smash and grab tactics. They're jumping in, they're grabbing like default credentials or seeing, you know, just really password spray and brute force and stuff, gathering what works, and then just going away. They're not changing anything. So there's another there's another boot to fall here at some point. Let's figure out what you know what the hell they're actually doing with this stuff. They're just storing it, selling it, who knows? But uh, uh, apparently it's been going on since 2015. And the government just felt like it was a good idea to warn us like you know, two days ago. So, you know, change, maybe change your passwords there. Um, serious slide, so this is a good one. Uh, Nova Scotia police, or Nova Scotia, the government of Nova Scotia itself, uh, they're charging a 19 year old hacker, quote unquote, um, with, what's the actual charge name? Let's see. So this 19-year-old hacker uh, breached the government uh, uh, FOI POP site, uh, downloaded 4,000 documents. About 4% of those were said to have like actual sensitive, highly sensitive private information. Um, the FOI POP, the Freedom of Information Protection of Privacy Act. So this is a third-party website that's hosted uh, for the government. 
Um, and what they do is freedom of information, right? So you, as a reporter or as a person, can pay five bucks and say, I want to take a look at this government project. Or if, uh, if it has something to do with you, you can pull it down as well. Uh, but if it has to do with other people, you can't request it specifically. It has to be either a project or yourself. But this is all information that's protected under the Freedom of Privacy Act. So the guy jumped in, managed to steal 4,000 credentials of it. Oh, here we go. And then charged him with un unauthorized use of a, of a computer, which in Nova Scotia holds the same charges uh, as like rape and uh, distributing and creating child pornography. Like, it's a big deal. But what you can do is you can run the same damn commands to look for the specific uh, web addresses in Google and find them. Like this kid just curled, you know, one through 1,000. All he did was iterate through them, you know, document uh, 1235 is hosted at the Nova Scotia site slash attachment download slash JSP attachment 135. 136 is at 136. It's all iterated, right? Document to document. So all he did was just like curl down a bunch of them to figure out what was going on. And there's a good chance like this guy's going to go to jail for a while. Who, who knows and who's to say like what his intentions were? He probably should have been doing it, but it's a freedom of information website. Like it's designed and created so that you can go and get information about your government and they're going to charge him with it. So, you know, like, yeah, he broke the rules, but if you do it yourself with Google, is Google breaking the rules now too? Like that's, it's pretty ambiguous. And that's, it's a big issue with the security industry because like he's going to go and, and tell this company about a vulnerability and go to jail. Like public disclosure is going to be ruined in Nova Scotia if this goes through. Like that's a, that's a hell of a precedence. So that's something to keep an eye out for. We'll go to some more fun news though. Yeah. Thanks. Right. So Facebook, obligatory Facebook slide. Uh, I'm sure everyone knows about Facebook, right? With the, the whole going up to the commission, right? I'm still on MySpace. So <clears throat> the best thing to come out of Facebook by far, the memes. <laughs> the memes were epic this month. This one's one of my favorite ones. If you didn't see our Senator Grassley talking to him about like WhatsApp and shit, oh man, it was dumb. <laughs> Zoo? <laughs> I tried to find, did you guys see the one where he's drinking water? Mm -hmm. Oh man, I couldn't find anything but a video of it. But yeah, so Facebook, the funniest mm -hmm. bit about that, you know, is, is the news. And that brings us to jobs. Anyone hiring, firing, looking for looking for positions in InfoSec? Right. It's a public forum. People have to know. <laughs> no, no, it's kind of a small group tonight. That's it. So what am I doing here?